everyone welcome back to my channel this is Stephanie and on this channel we talk about everything fragrance and so for today's video we are gonna go through our gourmands for fall and winter time I have been obsessed with gourmands so it's kind of beginner friendly I guess you could say because I I was not a gourmand girl I have I have switched to the dark side guys um, but anyway without further ado let's go ahead and dive right in so first one up that we have is from a brand called mask milano and this one is called madeline now the name might be a little bit misleading you will you would probably think oh it smells like a madeline it does not it is nutty there's some whipped cream very lactonic milky type of gourmand fragrance okay so you definitely get some whipped cream in here you get the chestnut i don't get the cumin in here so um i don't know maybe on some people's skin it pulls more but i don't really get the cumin in here there's some tuberose cypress geranium which i again do not get any of the florals milk vanilla pod musk and tonka bean literally everything that i get in here is like the milk the whipped cream the chestnut, the tonka bean, and the vanilla. It's like a warm cup of chestnut milk. So this one is very soothing. Um, it is really comforting, cozy. It really just puts me in a cozy vibe. Um, I've never had chestnut milk, but that sounds honestly pretty lovely. Yeah, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. I love how this smells on me. Unfortunately, the downside to this fragrance is that it does not last. If you definitely think that this sounds like something that's up your alley, you love something lactonic, a little bit nutty, um, this is one to definitely test out if you can and let me know what you think. The next one that I have is a very, very good cheapie and I actually found this at my local TJ Maxx for like probably $15. And this one is called Creme Brulee, and it is from the brand Le Monde Gourmand. They have some fun fragrances. You can find them also at Urban Outfitters um, for like $25 for their Eau de Parfums. This is only a body mist and hair mist. Oh my gosh, but this is so, so, like this is perfect. Like all year round, if you love to smell sweet and like an edible snack, this is a perfect one for all year round. And if you've ever smelled, this is her from Zadig and Voltaire. It is like a super sweet version of that. Like very, very sweet version of that. Mm, so you get whipped cream in here. I think there's some vanilla and some caramel. I think that's all of the notes that are listed for this. But this is just like a really fun easygoing fragrance this is one that you could just throw on if you just want to smell sweet I feel like for an appointment this would be nice to just put on if you really want to smell like a delicious whipped cream vanilla latte the next one is from my favorite brand of all time Kayali and this one is vanilla 28 yes you guys this is a cult favorite I mostly layer with this one. It's very rare that I wear it on its own. I've been, I finally finished my 10 ml, but this is such a beautiful vanilla fragrance. A beautiful straight up brown sugar vanilla. Perfect. Uh, the next one that I have is actually an oil, and um, I actually don't like the perfume that this oil is inspired by, but I wanted to mention the oil because I absolutely 1000% prefer it to the original fragrance, but it, this is from the company Perfume Oil Expressions, and this one is called Dual Set. And this fragrance oil is inspired by Lyra from Zerzhoff. So Lyra from Zerzhoff, every time I've smelled it, nothing groundbreaking to me. Like I just don't love that fragrance for some reason. It just nauseates me. But this one is so good. And uh, this was gifted to me, by the way. Okay, when people were saying, oh, Lyra smells like a lemon pound cake with like caramel drizzle on top, this is what I get from this oil. 
And I don't know what they did different, but Zerzhok needs to take notes. <laughs> Not me offending a whole brand. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is so yummy. This is so freaking delicious. Like I literally want to eat my hand how for how good this smells. Lemon pound cake with caramel drizzle on top. Like this is this is the vibes. Okay. Next gourmand fragrance is from Latafa and they are an Arabic brand and this one is called Kamara. Now I know what you're thinking. Does it smell like Angel Share? Are they trying to copy Angel Share? Let me tell you. They are in the same realm. They're in the same family. They could be they could be cousins actually. But this is a much sweeter not so boozy version of angel share so when you first spray this you do get this very a little like you do get this like kind of synthetic candle vibe to it and as it settles down you start to get those really delicious jammy dates along with that praline and the cinnamon in here is done to perfection it's just like sprinkled on just to add a little bit of that like holiday magic to this perfume if you want to smell like the holidays this is the fragrance for that next one is an oldie but goodie and i have talked about this many times before in the past and so many times i've debated decluttering this because i just feel like it's so obnoxious but i cannot Every time I put my nose to it, I cannot get myself to get rid of it. And this one is Angel Muse from Mugler. I adore this fragrance. This is a beautiful patchouli chocolate fragrance. It's a little bit powdery. There's something very syrupy sweet about it. I love the grapefruit opening that is in here. Just the the wear on this when you wear it from beginning to end is just amazing but it really has to get so cold because i feel like in the heat this just does not do well on my skin like i i really get very nauseated which is why i don't have much of a dent in here if, if you guys can see i've had this for about three years and that's how much i've used and that's because I really have to choose wisely when I want to wear this one because that patchouli, the patchouli in here can really go way down south if I wear it in weather that is just not appropriate. So, yes, Angel Muse from Mugler, definitely a unique, cool girl fragrance. Next one, if, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know exactly which body spray I'm about to talk about because I have been sneaking sprays since the summertime <laughs> for this fragrance and this is Charosa 71 from Sol de Janeiro. This is such a yummy, delicious, caramel, buttery goodness. Like I get caramel popcorn all the way or um, those like Mexican coconut shaving like shaved coconut uh, candies. Next one is from the brand Skylar. This was gifted to me. And um, although this one doesn't last, the performance is kind of shit. But I don't care because it's such a good vanilla fragrance. So a once upon a time, I sprayed this in store. And let me tell you, let me tell you something. I was not impressed at all I took one smell of it and I was like wow this is very alcoholy it just and because it's kind of um they're kind of light most of their fragrances are kind of light and fresh uh I feel like a lot of the other fragrances were taking over at Sephora so when I sampled this on paper it just does not it it does not do it justice and it did not do it do it justice at that time but you guys oh my god this is such a yummy vanilla 
there's something still bright and like almost clean about it but there's also a very like sweet addictive quality to this fragrance i'm so glad i have this in my collection because this has grown on me this is a vanilla fragrance that has definitely made its way to my heart adore j'adore this one this next one is my baby it is my baby um along with another one that i don't have with me i'm so sad because i lost the decant of that one but i'm still going to talk about it because it's one of the best hormones i've ever smelled stay tuned but this is like second runner-up to one of the best and this is from maison mataha and this is called escapade gourmand this perfume is literally essential if you get anything from this list this one okay this needs to be at the top of your things that you need to smell you literally need to experience what i'm smelling because this is one of the best gourmands and let me tell you why this is very simple okay it smells like the crispy top of a creme brulee like the crispy burnt brown sugar part that is what this little fragrance right here smells like but when i tell you that this lasts and projects it lasts and projects this goes past 12 hours hey okay, this is beast mode it is literally like the most simple dna but sometimes you don't need something complex sometimes you just need something that works that smells like straight up like creme brulee sugar and that lasts like we all just want something that lasts all day and makes us smell like a bomb dessert and this is this is literally the one i am so happy i bought this this was a pretty penny you guys it's not she's not a cheap girl but is is she worth it yes she is oh my gosh speechless every time every time i spray this holy moly and the presentation i mean like let's be honest like let's be fucking for real okay she is gorge last but not least i don't have a bottle of this i don't even have my sample ebk deep and desire yacht is literally top tier gourmand that one literally smells like a blueberry muffin i will say at the beginning when you first spray it it's like the most delicious blueberry muffin and like you're biting into it and you're getting all these warm blueberries just bursting inside of your mouth like just popping all right guys so my camera cut off but i was saying how ebk hey deep in desire i will leave like a little video of what the perfume bottle looks like in hand and i'm so jealous because my friend has it and it's like she's the one that gave me that sample um thank you guys so much for watching this video i really appreciate you guys being here supporting me always and uh i look forward to filming more content if you did like today's video and you haven't subscribed already please feel free to subscribe down below activate that bell so you're notified every single time i post a new video so we can come hang out and chat and talk about smelling smelling good okay um and until next time guys stay smelling good and i will talk to you later bye